Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I am Miss Molly Duke, and this is my open therapy class. I must say I'm super excited to have this number of people who are willing to share their problems and seek for solutions too. So before we dive into the business of the day, I would love you all to introduce yourselves and your possible challenges. Okay, I go first. Okay. I'm Mrs. Okonko. You're welcome, Mrs. Okonko. Thank you, Miss Molly. My husband is my challenge. Recently, uh, marriage has been nothing but business to him. And I'm tired of it. I can't take it anymore. You know, my husband is a pastor. And he has placed religion above our marriage. Typical of men. Wanting to control everything you do, including how you breathe. Make reference to our husband alone. Please! And stop making general quotes because all of us are not the same. <laughs> Says who? Hey, Mr. Man. Says who? Show me that man who is not selfish, cruel, and, and, and manipulative, and I will show you a woman in a man's costume. Then, my friend, will you watch your mouth? Oh, what? Oh, I will break all the bones in your body and feed them to you. Are you stupid? That's for the house, mister. Wow. Nice. So you, you, you couldn't wait, could you? You couldn't let your monstrous self stay hidden for a minute. Come now, come and break my bones. Um, one, just ignore her. She's just like every other woman, forcing their thoughts on you and I expect you to work in a particular way. This man is like, you don't know how You're to... very stupid. You're the stupid one. Oh, are, you, are you mad? Is it because you see me here? If you look at the mirror, you will see stupidity. Is that how you talk to a man? Who's the man? Is that how you talk to no, a man? Because you're very weird. Who are you? I don't know any man. That's not how to treat a woman. That's not how to treat a woman. That's not how to treat a woman. What's your problem? What is wrong with you? Get out of here. Why? I'm sure. Do you know who I am? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who is this? No, if you see me outside, will you talk to me like this? No, can you imagine? What was the meaning of this? You're very stupid. I'm stupid. Do you have to say stupid next? Calm down. Calm down, lady. Please. Take it easy. You went too harsh, mister. No, you saw the way she was talking to me because we're here. Why would I talk to you? Wow, I must say, um, I'm really impressed. Mm -hmm. I'm super impressed. Watching you all argue and almost fighting each other is impressive. Yeah, I know some of you might see it as something bad, but on the contrary, it's actually something good because it shows that you all are willing to unbottle your pain and that's the first step towards healing. Mrs. Okonkwo. Yes, Miss Molly. I suggest you bring your husband to the next therapy section. <laughs> you know, hearing from just one side won't help us judge the issue. We need to hear his own side of the story too. Honestly, that will be difficult. Why? Because my husband has time for nothing except his business. But I'll make effort to Why can't him. you just get home and tell him first? Why are you speaking for him? I wasn't referring to you. Alex! What's his problem? I really don't get you. Sorry, proceed. Please, um, <clears throat> can we continue? Who's next? They call me Marzi. You work on Marzi. <laughs> What a name. You heard that. Please, can we just behave like adults? Continue, Marzi. What are you, sir? One, Niwolo. I am a businessman, importer, exporter, on all merchandise. Well, I, I, I have had various field relationships and uh, people Attribute it to my temper. Obviously. Your... Your temper... Do you hate the women you date? 
You beat them? No. I don't just give them the chance to control me or to decide for me. You know, women are not equal to men and should be kept in their place at all times. Give a woman a chance, she come into your life and take over your life. Women should be kept on a leash at all times. It is that leash that will kill you, you this man. Do you hear me? That leash will kill you. Your brain is as stupid as your name. What do you think you are? What the hell do you think you are? Eh? Women should be kept on a leash. As dogs, and then you. The dog owner, uh, right? My brother, just ignore this child. Hmm? You have such great understanding. And I really like that. I respect that a lot. Well, that is me. And how I want my relationship to be. Simple. Really? Yes. Tell me, how is the relationship between your father and your mother? I am here to talk about myself and not my background. Actually, um... Our background informs more on who we are. I can bet my life that his parents are regretting giving birth to him. Your mother must be weeping. And I would love to see those tears in her eyes. That's Carlos. That's harsh. Are you okay? Uh, Mazi, wait. We can talk. Uh, Miss Mazi. Hey! 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 Kelly. Uh, please, you please, Kelly? Bring, bring her up here. Get up. I believe by now we all are calm and settled. Earlier on, tempers were flying, some got emotional, and Kelly crowned it all with her dramatic entrance. Kelly! Kelly! And this one wants to be someone's wife someday. I think she's a drug addict. Oh, oh what, 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 what's your name again? Oh, we have never been introduced before. Huh? Do not drink to my last name because you, you, you won't like me. Alex, good human relationships start with respecting people. Their choices and opinions in life. Whatever, Miss Molly. She just wasted our time and should be apologized. Can we go back to the reason why we're here? I'm tired of all this, all this drama. It looks like someone is in the mood for serious business. On that note, I think we should kick off from where we left. Mazi, earlier on you mentioned something about your mother that thrilled everybody. Tell us, why do you hate her? Pico. Concentrate on me. Unfortunately, we can't just concentrate on you. You know what they say. Nature versus nurture. And that's the basis to human behavior. She was a bad vibe in my life. <laughs> but I'm happy she's dead and gone. Um, Mazi, in as much as your mother is dead and gone, I believe she still has an influence on you because the way you feel for her is the reason why you treat women the way you do. Meaning? Tell us why you hate your mother. She was a mistake of a mother. She never treated me like a son. She was just about money, money, money. And the fact that my father lost his job and she became the breadwinner of the family. 
She treated my father like a piece of trash. My dad was always worshipping her because she was always bringing money home. The day he lost his place as the head of the family. As a child, I watched my dad do all the house chores. Clean the house, wash dishes, cook. Take care of me. She belittled my father in front of her friends and guests. That even some of her friends have to send my dad on an errand. My dad could not take it anymore. He took his own life. And on that day, I swore. I swore to make money and never let any woman control me. I can imagine, bro. Honestly, I can. I had a similar experience. But mine is that my mom cheated on my father. I had another child with his friend. So tell me why should I respect women? Why should I make them feel love? Since they will spit it to your face. Women should be suppressed. Mm. Don't generalize, please. Don't. You people need to be suppressed as you will make a mess of our lives. You all are just disgrace to life in general. Um, um, uh, Alex, please just shut up. Okay, just, just shut it. What happened to both of you is wrong. And trust me, no one should be made to go through that kind of thing. But that doesn't mean that the rest of us has to pay for it. We don't have to suffer the consequences of someone else's mistake. Meaning that we've all had our own fair share of problems. Like hell, we've had Terrible childhood. But that didn't mean he should rape me. What was my offense? What did I do wrong? <laughs> Maya. him on social media. I was just looking for some comfort and a friend that I can talk to without being judged by any means. My, my parents are going through a divorce and I seem to be the one in the middle of it. So I met Diary. He was a good friend. He, he gave me advice on what to do and how to go about it. We've been friends for months and we haven't even met. And then he said he was coming to Enugu for a meeting and he asked that we meet. I was so happy. I was so happy to finally meet my friend. I innocently went. Not knowing that he had other plans. He tried to get close to me. 
I refused. And he, he forced himself on me. He, he had this way with me over and over again. And when he was done, he passed me to his friends. They had their way with me again and again. I begged them. I pleaded. I cried. But they weren't having it. And when they were done, I passed out. Waking up the next morning alone in the service apartment. They were all gone. I tried to call him, you know, to get some explanation or something. <laughs> but it wasn't going through. And his social media account had already been deleted. Unfortunately for me, he didn't use his picture as profile, so there was no way of tracing him. Um, did you inform your parents about what happened? I did. And well, at least I tried. But they were so busy with their lives and the divorce. My mom. My mom even blamed me for it. She said it was my fault for going there in the first place. So I'm supposed to keep quiet about it. That is wrong. Very, very wrong. Yes. That diary guy needs to be caught. And he must pay. Because any man who rapes a woman is a beast. Indeed. That's an ungodly act. That's not even the shocker. I have a suitor who wants to marry me. And my parents are insisting I marry him. Okay, is it that you're not ready to settle down or you don't like him? <laughs> Faith decided to deal me the worst hand by sending the same monster that raped me and passed me to his friends as a husband. Jesus Christ. I did not aware that he, he, he's the same person that raped, that raped, that raped you. Hmm? Yeah, very much aware. In fact, my father said that the marriage makes it legal. How is marriage supposed to make rape legal? But I don't want to marry him. I don't want him or any other man for that matter. I just, I just want to live my life. You, you can't be single for the rest of your life. You still have to settle down someday, regardless. I support you though. Dari should pay for what he did to you. He shouldn't be glorified with a wedding ring. Maya, I think um, Alex is right. You know, this is not the time to allow your parents push you into what you don't want to do. It's time to stand up for yourself. And Darren needs to pay for his crime. Only you can make that happen. 
How am I supposed to fight this? How? I have some contacts. I can give them to you. That is, if you're ready, you can go to them. Well, um, I'm actually a lawyer. I can help you. You just have to get the, the details and fight it in court. Thank you. It's all right, you'll be fine. Thank you. I must say we are making headways and so far today has been fruitful and I'm impressed. I couldn't help but notice Kelly. Why drugs? I mean, you could barely stand or do anything for yourself. Growing up, my mother had always told me that women are home builders, not home destroyers. Men will mess things up. As a woman, you are meant to clean it up. She also said, as a woman, you have to do everything possible to make your relationship and your marriage work. You have to make his like your like, his dislike your dislike. You have to listen to him and obey him. That is the kind of mentality I grew up with. Meeting Fred, I decided to put every learned skills to practice and, and um, move my relationship to another level. Um, <clears throat> another level, you mean? He's a drug addict. I tried to change him, but he refused. So I had no choice than to join him. I never liked it. But before long, I was addicted and it was part of me. Then he, he traveled for a course. <sighs> I never knew he went to rehab to get clean. On returning, he was already planning for his wedding with a clean drug free girl. So when I confronted him, he told me that he cannot get married to a drug addict like me. Man, so man has come back. So why didn't he go to the rehab with you? Today, I'm an addict. And he's married. <laughs> Happily married. Um, this is really bad. I must say, it's really bad. But, um, we don't need to change ourselves for anybody. At this point, self-care and self-love is the watchword here. If you must change, change for yourself. We should change for ourselves and not for someone else so that if things don't turn out the way we want it to we won't end up bitter or we'll start lamenting because of it kelly 
will know what to do about your case. Okay? It's nice having you here, sir. We've been expecting you for days. Please have a seat. Thank you very much. Please go straight to the point. I have church program to attend. Exactly. That's my problem. My husband doesn't have time for anything. He doesn't even have time for me. He always puts God's work first, forgetting that I'm part of God's work too. Well, I don't have to tolerate a woman who doesn't believe in God or my ministry. Really? Yes. That's why you allowed our first unborn child to die? Huh? Yes. I was pregnant with our unborn baby. My first pregnancy. Something happened and I had this bad fall. I was bleeding profusely and was rushed to the hospital. The doctor said I needed blood to survive. Of course, I am my baby. But according to my husband, his ministry doesn't believe in blood transfusion. The doctor pleaded with him. The nurses begged him, but he refused. I begged my husband, but he refused. That was how I lost my child. That was how I lost my baby. I almost died in the process. Do you know the most painful part of it? Up till now, I've not been able to have another child. What kind of a man are you? Why are you more Catholic than the Pope? Yes. God created the hospitals. Exactly. We have doctors. God gave them knowledge. The same God you serve gave them the knowledge to save lives. Why is your ministry against blood transfusion? Well, that is my ministry. If God had wanted the baby to stay, he wouldn't have allowed the baby to die. God, you're sick. He's not even remorseful. You know, this is our biggest problem. We are too religious that we make religion our weakness rather than our strength. Uh, him. He's too religious, not we. Him. God is not a murderer. Neither is he against us. But we humans, we make, we make rules and regulations that seems to be working against us. Then we pin it on God. All in the name of religion. What is wrong with blood transfusion? I don't get it. I really don't get it. What kind of a ministry are you running? You need to be arrested. We've had them. Each and every one of us is battling with one problem or the other. Sometimes we are our own problems and other times we allow others become problems to us. Where do we go from here? How do we handle this? Right now, I think I need your help. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Um, thank you, Mr. Okonku, for joining us again in this session. Uh, really appreciate your presence. Thank you. But please, go straight to the point. I'm not finding this funny anymore. Neither am I. Which is why I'm contemplating on a divorce. A divorce? Why? Miss Molly, I told you I'm not happy in this marriage. And I don't share his ideologies with him. So why should I stay married to him? Indeed, you are a dangerous woman. So you have not been happy in this marriage. And you still cook for me. What are you scared of? Hmm? What exactly are you scared of? You're scared of her poisoning you. Right? So because she doesn't share your views, she no longer has the right to what she likes and what she doesn't like. She cannot defend herself or speak for herself again. Is that she, what you're trying to say? She does. She does, but I share in his fear too. Because 
An angry woman can go to any length. The last time I checked, the opposite of happy is not angry. Three chances. Exactly. Um, Kelly is right. Your wife is not happy with the way things are going. Especially for the fact that she lost her child. And she has not been able to have another child since then. Well, if God wanted us to have children, he would have made that happen. Why are you against blood transfusion? Because it is not written in the Bible that we should take another blood to another blood. Yes, it is not. And God made us differently. So why are we playing God on this by taking someone's blood to another person's blood? Pastor, come for neither it is written in the Bible that we shouldn't. The Bible says what will bind on earth, so shall it be banded in heaven. Please, please, Mr. Okonko, let's not quote the Bible to suit ourselves and situations. <sighs> well, I don't have time to be arguing with unbelievers here. Yes, we are not equally yoked. As for you, my wife, you cannot divorce me. You can't make me look like a fool before my congregation. You lie. Bia Bia Oga. Which is more important to you? What your congregation thinks? Or what God thinks? Thank you. God, of course. It doesn't look like it. Mm? Mm. Mm. Mr. Kumpo, can I ask you a question? And I expect you to be sincere with your answers. Yes, I'm a man of God. I don't lie. If someone is at the verge of dying and needs to survive using another person's blood, then the person takes the other person's blood. How will you see this person? Is the person redeemable or doomed? It is blood we are talking about here. There is nothing that person can do. Anybody that indulges in that, you are doomed for destruction. Is this man normal? Like I put it to you that you're not normal. So you're saying that half of the world is doomed? Yes, and I cannot be part of it. I can't lose heaven because of a child who came to the world to lure his parents into blood transmission. I can't be doomed. Mr. Ma, you're a hopeless case. Uh -uh. You need to be checked. And I hope this congregation of yours have discerning spirit to tell right from wrong. Else, else you have gathered enough candidate for hell. Hi. I forgive you. She's not asking for your forgiveness. She's saying you need to go check your mental state. You're sick in the head. Yeah, okay. Who ordained you, Pastor? Because that person is the first to be taken to the hospital. Because it's only a madman that considers his fellow madman normal. Well, I can't be seated here and be sorted by sinners. I'm out of here. Um, please, please, calm down, calm down, please. What? This is an open session. Intrusions are expected. I would let you go if you could just look at this. What do you feel about that? What do you have to say? Sorry, Miss Molly, what document is this? Let me see. Um, I'm sorry, Mrs. Okonkwo. I had my investigations. I did a background check on your husband. Okay. And exactly nine years ago, he mm -hmm. was involved in a fatal accident that almost claimed his life. Mm -hmm. He needed four pints of blood to be saved. Which he used. Eh? So tell me, Mr. Okonko, are you doomed or you still redeemable? Will you drank four? Four pints of blood, Mr. Okonko! And you cannot save my child! You cannot save my child! I'm a homeless! Don't let me! You son of a bitch! You are wicked! Calm down. You are less! <laughs> I 
know everything is bad now. But what do you expect from me? Mokem, the truth. The truth! You're a religious leader. People listen to you and follow you. So you're supposed to be telling us the truth and not you trying to make us lose our lives and senses in the, in the, in the name of religion. I was a struggling man. A struggling pastor. I needed a large congregation to help me stay in the business. And you know, people would like to go to a place where there's something different. A place that offers them something new, regardless of how real or fake it is. I don't understand. I, I really do not get it. If you know how wrong this is, why then did you do it to your own wife? Your wife! <laughs> you see, when you continue to do a particular thing for long, even you yourself, you start believing in it. I was so scared what my ministry or congregation will say when they hear that I, Pastor Okonko, is doing what I am preaching against. Let me understand you. So, because of your congregation, you allowed our unborn child to die? Pastor Kong, are you kidding me? <sighs> so, you're more concerned about your congregation than your unborn child? Yes. Yes, I was. Because no one was willing to give me a chance in their churches. They all dominated me all times. I draw all the congregations and they all take the glory. Yes. It is God's work we are talking about here. What has man become? For reals, I don't know why you are acting surprised. Because I'm not. You heard him say, stay in a business. So to him, this whole thing is considered a business, right? And as a businessman that I am, in business, we think profits and losses. So to him, saving his unborn child means loss. I think divorcing you won't be a mistake. Because obviously, I'm married to a madman. The worst kind! No, I am not mad. I put it to you that you are not mad. I'm just a man who is concerned and decided to open his own congregation. Yes. And opening my own church and pushing people seems to be the best option for me. Um, Mr. Okonkwo, I am not a preacher and I do not preach but I must say that you've misled a whole lot of people yes and I wonder how how much they've lost too due to your deceit people are indeed gullible but to think a father will sit and watch his own child die because of some fake congregation. Ha! Huh? No, 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 no. You deserve to die the worst kind of death. Who are you to judge me? Who are you to tell what should and what shouldn't happen to me? Do you know how bad it is to see your parents saying bad, bad things against you? Do you know how bad it is for your parents to compare you with other kids? Both physically and intellectually. My father wants to be 
how he wished that I was aborted in my mother's womb. My mother, on the other hand, said, that nothing good can come out of me. That I'm going to end up as a native doctor, collecting cola nuts and white cock from people, making them rich and die in abject poverty. All my life has been struggling from one place to the other. I try to do so many things to prove them wrong, but it didn't work out until I entered pastoral school and I discovered that I have the ability to convince and lead people on. But for me to do that, unfortunately, I, I have a big price to pay. Are you listening to yourself? Hmm? We all have faced a lot of challenges. And I'm sure that we are not dragging others into our suffering. Mr. Okonkwo, your parents were so wrong with your choice of words. I mean, I've heard other parents say a lot of bad things about your children while they're growing up, and I've seen how it has affected them. You have no idea what that does. Getting to hear some certain words as a child, and as an adult, you can't get rid of them. They continue to ring in your head. I agree with you, Mazu. Honestly, I never knew this side of things. But that doesn't justify you misleading others in the name of religion. No. One, one of the problems we have in this country is that we forget that pastors are humans and they have backstories and troubling present. And until we understand this, we will stop treating them like supernatural beings that can never go wrong. Yeah, I agree with you. So, what is the way forward now? Because I don't want to lose my wife. Yes, I love her so much. To be honest with you, she's the only real thing in my life now. Um, it's simple. Tell your congregation the truth. Yes. Tell them everything you've told us today. Those who are in your ministry for the right reasons will still remain there. You do not beg or technically force people to serve God within your space. Let them fly. Those who won't will perch. That will not be easy. <laughs> and who said it's going to be easy? If you want to make a positive change in life, you'd have to work for it. But I would like to beg my wife for many things. Please, I'm not beg you for neglecting you for what happened to your unborn child and so many other things I cannot remember. Please, my love, forgive me.
please do not leave me at this middle of confusions. But help me to succeed on this. I can't not do it alone, please. my love. I love you, no doubt. But with all these discoveries, I'll need time to digest it. I'll help you the best way I can. But we need to work on our marriage. That's if it will go on with it. I love you so much and I promise you I will fix the marriage. I will fix us. Yes, I will. Thank you. Wow. Wow, this is beautiful. Wow. This is what we want. I mean, this is, this is amazing. This is exactly what we want here. But, you will still be going for your private therapy session while we sort you out. Sure. Yes. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> I must say today has been productive. And I did hope if we will be productive with you, Alex. Me? Mm -hmm. Come on, Molly. Today has been awesomely great. You know, we even have people hugging. So why do you want to spoil my mood? <laughs> we'll eventually get to you. So why don't we start now? Mustn't be today. I guess he's not willing to relieve the experience. Well, he will have to eventually. That's if he wants to be here. <laughs> What are you doing here? Maya, what is this I hear? That you declined my proposal? Like, who the heck do you think you are? How much do you think you're worth in the market? Huh? A loose, used girl by a censored man to please themselves. <laughs> Darling, you should be excited that I want to make you my wife. You should be begging to make me your husband. At least for you to please me and my friends. Oh, she's crying. Oh. Are you all by chance, Barry? Yes. I know. Who the heck would like to know? Life. We are gradually seeing people for who they really are. We've uncovered a lot today. We've seen reasons people act the way they do. And how the words of parents to their children affect their entire life. This is for you parents. Whenever you open your mouth to address your child, pronounce blessings and not curses. Please let's help the society bring up better human beings. Who 
are you to hit me? Shh. Shh. You want to know who I am? Yes, I want to know. Okay. They call me Mazi. What time are you as a one? You will know. And I'm Maya's friend. You say you're Ma Mazi, whatever. And you're Maya's friend. <laughs> oh, my, I see. This is the reason why you declined my proposal. This. <laughs> you feel you now have a bodyguard, right? <laughs> oh, wait. Are you sleeping with him? Dari. Thank you, stars. That I'm in the cocoon. If not, I would have shoved your head up your ass. Then I'll be counted among those that are sleeping with Maya. Since that's what your senseless brain wants to believe. Did you call me senseless? You stupid. Oh wow. <laughs> So the both of you are ganging up against me, right? You both should be ashamed of yourselves. And you call yourselves men. Men. Men who back women. You, obviously, you see her sweet too, right? What, what, let me, let me, let me, let me put some senses into this mad man. You don't have respect! Mazi, you're defending a woman. Wow. A few days ago, you never had respect for women. So what changed? Really? Miss Sokumpo, we are dressing a rapist now, Mazi. What? We have our problems. We don't rape women to prove our point. Sorry to come in. Did I hear rape? Who raped who? Um, Kelly. Dari here and his friends invited Maya to his place and they raped her. Now Maya's parents want Dari to marry her. Oh. Wait, Kelly, I thought you were here in class when we talked about this. Are they mad? Well, we will come to that. As for you, Dari, why then do you want to get married to a girl, a woman, who you and your friends slept with? Yes. Are you that generous with your stability? Did you just call me Sherry? I wish that thought and keep your distance. <laughs> oh, I see. Wow, 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 wow. So this is what you people do here. So, you all gather up here, all in the name of terror, to be sleeping with each other. Hey, hey, stop it. Do not incur the wrath of the Almighty with all trances, or as I call you, Holy Ghost. Huh? Huh? It's, uh, it's, uh, <laughs> I mean, do not say what you don't know. It's not a good lie to use as a child of God. <laughs> and who is this one? He is my husband. Do you have a problem with that? He is my husband. You have yes, darling, I have a problem with that. Which is? It's, oh God, it's only an unfortunate woman like you who will cut the fed. Nigga, you ugly, bro. You don't talk to my husband like don't that. Don't worry, don't mind me, don't mind me. Who is this man? Don't worry, forget him, forget him. Dari, <laughs> you just have to stop it there. Because the rate at which you're moving, <laughs> one night, <laughs> you might not live here with your two legs, so. Gary, <laughs> what do you want? What? What 
do you want with me? Hmm? I have told you time and time again. I am never, ever going to marry you. What has happened has happened. Just leave me alone so, so I can deal with this nightmare. The nightmare that you created for me. Let me deal with it. Okay? You, you cannot force me to marry you. <laughs> um, darling, you're right. I cannot and won't force you to marry me. But darling, don't forget that I have your parents back in me. So you have no saying this. <laughs> again. Why then do you want to marry her? After you and your friends had her. To me, it's not making sense. Oh, well, it's not making sense to you. Because obviously, you're senseless. And you're not a businesswoman. <laughs> Let me explain to you. Do you know how much I made from her the last time? Yes. Do you know how I and my friends enjoy taking turns with you? Hmm? <laughs> Senseless. I have rich friends. Quote, rich. <laughs> Her, the helplessness in her face made tears drop. And those tears, mm, it turned them on. <laughs> and you know the best part? The part that they enjoyed especially. When she screamed and cried. For them to stop. Ah! Mm. That was the climax of it all. This guy is a <laughs> Anyways, um, you know, I had to try other girls with my friends, but none could taste as good as this girl. <clears throat> so, senseless, I say to myself, Dari, why not get married to her? You know? That way, I can make good money from her. Business. Me and my friends can have you as much as we want, anytime we want, and do what you as we like. Oh, your God. So, you get the plan now. Well, um, Dari. Yes. Is that why you created all this drama? Get your plan, bro. I do. Yeah, but the problem here is that I don't think you get our plan. Oh, wow. There is a plan. Yeah. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> so, woman backer, mm -hmm. do you mind telling me what stupid plan that is? Sure. You hate me! Oh my god, do you know who I am? Do you, do you have an idea of who my father is? I will not, I will not handle you yet. I will see you later. My let's get a Don't touch her! Oh my god. <laughs> Maya, you know what I can do. Maya, I am taking this insults and beatings because of you. If you know what is good for you then, stand up, Maya. Maya! Thank you, Riley. Yeah. Welcome, officers. I was the one who called you. Here is the rapist. We're filing a case against him for multiple rape and assault. 
He has accomplices who are his friends, and we need them to be arrested. Young man, yes. you had her. You are under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. For whatever thing you say here can and shall be used against you in the court of law. Officer, Sir. cough him. You all have done your worst. <laughs> but it will not go down without a consequence. Don't worry, Dari. Waiting for your consequences. Ah, easy. I'm a leather practitioner, and I will make sure that you and your miserable friends will never see the light of day. <laughs> Legal practitioner, indeed. Judge and be your lawyer. I'll be waiting for you. Can we go? Can officer wait? Oh, please wait. Maya, do you have anything you want to? You want to say or do? Yes, Maya. Do you have anything to say? <laughs> you bastard! It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You may develop a ear problem and uh, you may not hear a judge's decision in this case. Just let him go. Oh. Take this monstrous bastard out of here! Ever want to see your face again? Do you hear me? Maya! <laughs> Maya, you have done your worst! But I swear to God, my comeback will not be easy. Get out of here! Young man, move! Leave. Maya! Move! Move it! Don't touch me! Move it! The law will handle him. Okay? The law will definitely handle him. <laughs> now we've gotten into Maya's case, I suggest we tidy it up. Maya, how do you feel? Well, uh, I feel a lot better and safer knowing that Dari has been arrested brings me some, some kind of peace. Okay, but the issue with your parents, we've not settled it out yet. What's your plan? Our parents need to be arrested. What is wrong with parents of these days? They don't care about their, their children's future. All they care about is them, themselves. Gone are the days when parents used to be our conscience. But now it looks like we the kids have more conscience than the parents. Selfishness everywhere. I want to move out. I mean, I want to move out of my family house. So, where do you want to move to? I have no idea. But what I do know is that staying with those two is like living in bondage. I mean, I live with my parents, but then there is no difference between me and an orphan. Um, okay, so now do you have anything you do, like a walk or something? Mm, no, uh, I studied political science, but 
I've not been able to get a job. But I'm still searching. So technically you depend on your parents? Yes. We don't want to work in the vineyard of the Lord. Huh? Oh, say, ve, 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 ve what? Which, which vineyard? The one you've destroyed with lies? Oh God, nothing will grow in that your vineyard. Until you go there and make things right. Please and please, do not transfer her to another realm of suffering. She has been through enough. Can't you see? Maya, leaving your parents' house will expose you to more danger and unforeseen circumstances. Advice, you learn a skill. Something you can do to earn a living and provide for yourself. If possible, save some money and stand as a woman. Or oh, better still, you can get a rich man and settle down, you know? That's a no for me. Getting into another relationship because you're in need will land you to a bigger problem. So it's a no for me. Yes, you're, you're right. She's right. It was you coming for somebody like me. I would definitely think that you're coming for my money and I would treat you like a, like a commodity. Matt, why would you treat an image of God like a commodity? Are you sure you will make heaven? Because you're the one standing at the gate, Abby. Hey, don't make fun of a child of God. So, what are we? Children of the devil? You see, the problem I have with you is that you don't always stand with your husband. Not until my husband gets back on track. For now, I stand by the truth. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Um, I thought, I thought we were talking about me. Uh, yes, we were still talking about you. <laughs> we still have our, have our own issues. Maya, what do you want? Being in another relationship and further depending on a man or your freedom, you know, living on your own terms. My freedom, of course. Good. I suggest you learn a skill, you know, something that you can earn a living from and escape your parents' shadow. You know, having something to do as a woman will attract the right men to you to earn your respect and your value. Okay. Uh, so, what kind of skill do you suggest I learn? You have to figure that out yourself. I mean, you have to learn something you derive joy in doing, something you can get satisfaction from. Think about it, then you could get back to us and we'll help you the best way we can. Thank you so much, Miss Molly. You're welcome. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. You're welcome, Maya. You know, for the first time in my life, I feel like I belong somewhere. I feel like I have a real family. You all didn't need to stand up for me, but you did. And I don't take that for granted. So thank you. Um, my you just have to slow down because uh, you're you're making us go emotional, and uh, I wouldn't want to spoil my makeup. <laughs> so oh, Feel today? Better. Better than I used to. I'm glad to hear that. Kelly. Kelly! Are we already high this morning? 
She can barely open her eyes. Hey, mind your business, I'm fine. Then sit up. We, we need to start the day. Sure. She said sit up, like sit up. You are welcome once again. Mm, Alex. Yep. Um, we practically overlooked your case. For others, you said something about your mom the other day, cheating on your dad and having a child with his friend. Tell us, how has that affected you? Uh, well, um, since you're so interested in this, well, for me, I don't know how I see women. To me, every woman is a prostitute. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I have this belief that when a woman is pregnant, maybe she has three kids for her husband, that one must be from another man. Sorry, Mr. Alex. What would make you think of women like that? That's totally wrong. I wasn't seeking your opinion, Ms. Sokonpo. Well, I'm a woman. And I cannot sit here and watch you disrespect women. That's your business. Like I was saying, gone are the days when women have dignity for themselves. This day is the other way around. When a woman says good morning, you have to check the time to be sure that it is actually morning. Um, Alex, you still haven't told us how that has affected you. Well, I was in a relationship. Actually, two ladies are claiming that they are pregnant for me. One has given birth to a child, but I rejected it. What? But one is still pregnant. You rejected your own child. What kind of a man are you? Why would you do that? Well, because I have this feeling that they are not mine. Fear. Meaning, what do you mean by that? Hmm? You got a girl pregnant because of your feeling you denied the child. Really? I, hmm? I don't believe this. This is unbelievable. Well, Maya, whatever you believe is your business. For me, I see my mother in every woman. How am I sure that... They weren't cheating on me with my friends. Hmm. Alex, you have a sister? Yes, but we don't share the same father. And I hate her so much. I despise her with everything in me. <laughs> um, when, uh, it's not the girl's fault. Your mom is the core girl and she cost everything. How dare you call my mother a core girl? Are you mad? Oh, so you, you want to fight me? Is your mom not a call girl? Call her a call girl one more time. I will throw away caution and start throwing punches. You won't scare me! Enough! Enough! What is going on here? Mazi, you have no right to call his mom that. But that is exactly what he, what he implied from the beginning. Regardless, she is still his mother. And he obviously still loves her. Yes. What makes you think I love her? She just defended her right now. You could only defend people you love. I think that's why you, you feel the way you do. I want to use this. Truly, people are troubled. A lot of people go about their daily activities and we think they are normal. But the truth is, they are not. Some behaviors are not normal. 
situations has pushed a lot of people to their limits. Well, we are here to address them the best we can. Please, let's be sensitive to people and our environment. Believe me when I say, we all need people or someone to talk to. Let kindness lead. I don't want to be like this. I don't like this kind of life. Then avoid drugs if you don't like this kind of life. You know your problem. You know the source of your problem. And you keep doing it. You think it's easy? You think you can just wake up and stop taking drugs? But you woke up and started taking it. Uh, see, she's, she's an addict. And until she goes to a rehab, nothing can be done to save her. I think Maz is right. The only option for you right now is rehab. If you go to rehab, I will take care of my mother. <laughs> you are the one who needs to be taken care of. Huh? Because nobody is safe around you. Your mother is sick. <laughs> yes. She has true. <laughs> what about your dad? He left us when I was late, so now he's remarried. How did you and your mother feel? How do you cope? Because I can't see you doing any job that will earn you a living. How do you manage? We are living off my mother's savings really? and pension. <laughs> So, I mean, your, your little dream, you think that money will last forever? Yeah. Uh -uh. Can you not use such words on her? Why? Why? She obviously has a fish brain. That is why she's wasting her mother's savings on drugs. Oh, man. Uh, see, you need to open your eyes. You need to open your eyes and use whatever is left of your brain. Mazi, would you please mind your choice of words? She didn't just intentionally start using drugs. She's here with us, meaning she's seeking for help. Okay. How do we come in? You fight to yourself alone. <laughs> now we. I mean, how, how do we help? Because look at her. Eh? She doesn't look good at all. Um, Kelly, do you have any family member? Or a friend who could take care of your mom? No, no, it's just the two of us. Nobody. Just you and your mom. And you're just miserable. Are you serious? Keep it up. Alex, can you can you be nice? Kelly, you need a nurse, a maid, someone you could trust that could take care of your mom while you're away. You need to go to the rehab and fix yourself. You don't look good. <laughs> that should be expensive. <laughs> How can I pay the person monthly? I don't have money. Uh, let me ask. Those drugs you take, do you get them for free? Huh? Because obviously you're spending more money on drugs. If you need help, you need to give something in return. <laughs> you should help me. <laughs> Help me, I'm dying, please. Help me, please. brand new day we've had our break to help Kelly I must say I, I really appreciate each and every one of you you guys are really awesome and 
to say that Kelly has arrived. Hurry up. Ooh. Wow. I'm so happy for her. And uh, may God bless her and uh, pour her through. Amen. Amen. Oh. So let's pick up from where we left off the other day. Alex. Okay. Um, I hope there will be no more dramas. Because I don't want to go through this again only for someone to badge him or any of you fainting. <laughs> I feel your drift, man. Alex, it's obvious you still love your mother. I do not love that woman. All I feel for her is anger and hatred. Why? Did you ever bother to ask her her reason for sleeping with your father's friend? Um, Maya, tell me, is there any justification for cheating? She was my best friend. I loved her so much. I was grateful to have her as a mother. But what did she do? She cheated on my father with his best friend, which led to his early grave. So now I have a sister I do not love and girls that I can never ever trust. So do you get the point now? Maybe if you had asked. Just once. Maybe. I would have told you what I never wanted to see. Mom. You're welcome, Ma. Please have a seat. How? I'm sorry, Alex. Actually, I took out time during the break to meet up with your mother and invite her over so that we could hear our own side of the story. <laughs> yeah, that was nice. Um, so, madam, now that you're here, can you please tell us why you consider your husband's friend sweeter than your husband? Marcy, if you say one more annoying word to my mother, I will hit you so hard that you won't be able to use your eyes for days. It's just maybe if you had done that to your mother, she wouldn't have, you know, set her eyes on another man. Marzi, I wouldn't want to warn you again. We all agreed to respect each other here. And if you wouldn't keep to that, I would have to excuse you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I really feel bad about everything and couldn't help but think about my mother. Molly, what's the meaning of this? She shouldn't be here. She shouldn't be part of this. Why? Shouldn't the cause of the problem be part of the solution? Tell me, what do you have to say? That I held you in a very high esteem and you crushed it. That I was unable to look at my friends when the news that you cheated on my father spread because I told them that you were the best mother on earth. so shameless yes and that man that called himself my father's friend he should thank his stars that i never set my eyes on him again Alex. i know you feel bad about what has happened i feel bad too but the bad part is I, I've, I've lost my son and I truly feel sad about it all. You know, women like you are the reason men call us names. If I may ask you, ma'am, 
Why didn't you leave the marriage if you were not happy in it? I mean, why did you have to disgrace your husband like that? My answer them, mom. Why did you have to disgrace my father? I did not disgrace your father. I did not. Your father put me into the problem I am in right now. What the heck are you talking about? The man you hate so much for making me pregnant. The man you think is your father's friend or a stranger. He's not a stranger. Then, who the hell is he? He's your father. Hallelujah. Daddy. Tell us, Mrs. Bright, what happened? After my husband and I got married, we tried to conceive for years. Nothing happened. We went to the clinic, and it was discovered that my husband had low sperm count. He was prescribed some medication which he really never took seriously. And he had, in addition to that, he, he made me promise not to tell his family about his condition. Okay, so you were being insulted and humiliated for something that wasn't your fault. But you chose to give it to yourself. You decided not to say anything. I was facing being thrown out of my husband's house. My husband still refused to divulge his secret to his family. And the pressure was so much. I did something I never planned. At my lowest, weakest moment, I slept with my husband's friend. Surprisingly, I conceived. My husband was over the moon. He thought the medication, which he really never did take, had kicked in. So, Mr. Francis, this is your father. I am not really proud of it, but he is your father. So, why, why did you go back there? You already had a son. Why did you leave with the secret? That was the plan. But soon, the euphoria of having a child, the excitement of having a baby, you wore away. And the pressures started mounting again. My husband still refused to tell his family about his condition. I was at a loss of what to do. I went to Mr. Francis because I didn't want to have children from different men. But the second time never worked out. Because my husband got us 
and everything went south from there. This is, this is really sad. Mom, it's my name even Alex. Because it's obvious my whole life I've been living a lie. I'm not even who I claim to be. Why? Oh God. I do not know what to do anymore. My daughter sees me as a problem. My son does not want to have anything to do with me. And I was just trying to save my home, my marriage. What about this Francis of a man? Where is he? He's married. Living with his wife. They do not have children. And he wants to come claim the ones I, the children I had with him. Sharp man. Sharp man. But that is, that is karma at work. So what do you want to do? Hand the kids over to him? Never. Come on. I'm not an object. I think I'm old enough to decide whom I want to be with or whom I want to acknowledge. So what do you want? With everything that's happened today, you should be sure that nothing happens in a vacuum. What do you want, Alex? I know my mother was pushed, but cheating on my father was wrong. But if she did it, you wouldn't have been born. Well, Alex, I think you should just calm down and think this whole thing through. Mrs. Bright, what do you want? I want my family back. I want my life back. I want my son back. Mr. Francis wants me to get married to him. I do not want to. I still love and respect my husband, my late husband. How can you say you want your life back? You can never have your life back after destroying ours. Alex, calm down. Just calm down. In this situation, all you have to do is listen to your heart and make a decision. You are the man right now in the absence of your father. You need to sleep over this issue. Think about your family and what's right for them. Think about yourself too. But most importantly, you have to think about what your father would do if he was still alive. God! This is too much for me. I wonder. You're, you're the man. I'm sure you will, you will figure things out. And definitely you will make a right decision. And whatever you decide, we're all here for you, okay? Mrs. Bright, would you want to stay here with us, you know, come around while Alex figures out what to do? I would like to, if Alex permits it. Alex. It's not my space. If she wants her to stay, she can stay. Yes, it's not your space. But she will feel much better if you ask her to stay. It's OK. It's OK. I know my presence here is already a problem for him. So 
I'll go. Thank you so much. You can stay. Are you Miss Molly? Um, yes, I am. Ah! Jesus Christ. And I thought it was just the kids who have issues. It's obvious we are all carrying our own baggages around. And no matter how happy people appear, believe me when I say, they are all fighting one demon or the other. What is the matter with you, woman? How do you walk in here and hit her like that? Now, who is this one? Now, the question is, who are you? My mother. What? Yo. Your mother? Yes, I am her mother. And I've come here to ask you why you are deceiving my daughter. Huh? And helping her to destroy what is left of her life. Eh? I do want to know why that comes down. Destroying her life? Did you say destroying her life, woman? Who is this woman? Where did you get that life from? You, mommy, mommy, wait. I've told you. Mommy, stop now, eh? I've told you countless times, nobody is destroying anything here. What is all this drama for? Will you shut up? Shut up your mouth! And allow this annoying therapist to answer my question. Madam, please, watch your language here. Please. What's all this? And who is this one? My friend, will you shut up and shift? Let me handle you! Better. Miss Molly, or whatever you call yourself. Huh? Are you going to answer me now? Or do you want more slaps? From where that came. I said, allow me! Oh, come down! What, what, what are you even talking about? <laughs> we are trying to help your daughter get her life back on track, and you say we are destroying her life? Yes, what is it? Yes, you are destroying her life. She is supposed to get married to Dari. She should be planning her wedding. Eh? And I will be getting the money I need for the kind of business I wanted to establish. <laughs> eh? Thanks to you, Dari has been arrested. Up here? Mom, just... Hold on, calm down now. Mommy, wait, wait. You want to marry me off to Dari? Because of money to start a business? Are you being serious? Yes, so I am serious. Not just for me. <laughs> but your father will be receiving a very huge amount of money. Oh. But I don't know. I don't know why you have decided to be a hindrance to our progress. Why? Is it because of money? Wait. <laughs> Wait. Okay. You're Wait. trying to tell me that you and Daddy want to marry me off to Dari for your selfish interest. Eh? What did you say? Did I hear you say selfish interest? Who is talking about selfish interest? She has every right to talk about it. Says who? Says who? Says me. I don't know what is going on here, but from what I understand, you are planning for her to marry someone. Hey! And for you to gain from it. And you expect her to go along with it? Yes. And you expect her to go along with it. Because that is what she ought to do. It's not clear. Why? Yes, you gave birth to her, but did you give birth to her to sell her off and make money? What kind of a woman are you? And who are you to tell me what to do with my daughter? We are talking about your daughter, not your property. Exactly. You know, I've always considered myself blessed. But with a mother like you, eh? with a parent like you, I am definitely cursed. Why did God decide to punish me like this? What? How? How did I even end up with you? Hmm? How? What is this? What is this? 
What is this word turning into? Hmm? What is this whole word turning into? Parents are now hawking their own children. Yes. Really? Oh, really? So, this is the best way to thank me and your father for everything. Is that All right. <laughs> thank you. Oh, uh, sorry. I didn't know I was supposed to thank you for bringing me into this world. Or am I also supposed to thank you for raising me? Or thank you for being my parents? Which do you deserve a thank you for? I said, uh, allow me. Uh, calm down now. Allow me to do this much. With all due respect, Ma, I am very disappointed in you. She was supposed to be a mother. I can't believe you're doing this to her. I don't care. I don't care what you think. As for you, Maya, I will demand that from you any day. You know why? Because you are an egret. How? How am I an ingrate? Hmm? And why would you even call your own daughter an ingrate? I just called you an ingrate, not my daughter. Oh, wait, what, what's the difference? It is simple, if you care to know. Maya here is not our daughter. Yes, she is not our daughter. Jesus Christ. She is a bastard. Are you happy now? Oh, Are you happy? Calm down. Holy, let me, let me calm deal down. with Holly. What is your fault? I shouldn't have said that. But let me, let me be. Let me be. Don't even touch me again. Allow me to deal with that. Mommy. Do you hate me that much? I mean, do you hate me this much? That you come in public and call me a bastard. See, Maya, I am not your mom. Maybe we should clear that part first. Why don't you tell us? Go ahead. Tell them. Tell them how I'm not your daughter. Go ahead. Are you ready for this? Let's hear it. Okay. <sighs> My husband and I, we are married for three good years. Without an issue. So on this day, when we were coming back for a wake up, and my husband was feeling pressed, he decided to park the car and ease himself. And he saw this little child of about two weeks in a carton close to the West Bay. He called my attention and I came out. I found a child. We wanted to take the child to the police station. But on a second thought, we decided to take the child home. <laughs> After all, we didn't have any child of our own. So we took her home and gave her all the love we had. We nurtured and trained her to become the woman she is today. And when we just wanted her to do the same for us, 
she decided to do otherwise. Now tell me, is she not selfish? Is she not? Let me get it, woman. So, because you took care of her as a child, you expect her to pay with her life? Really? <sighs> I'm a bastard. Miss hmm? Millie, did you hear that? I'm an orphan. Nobody knows my parents. My, my, you have to calm down, okay? I'm sure it's not, it's not as bad as you think. Please just put yourself together, okay? <laughs> Disgrace to women. Who is talking? And if you are here, I am sure you are part of something disgraceful too. So don't even try to carry my case on your head though. Because I am very, very sure that it will be too heavy for you to bear. If you knew you were not going to look after her without asking for something in return, why didn't you take her to a police station? You better still leave her there. I'm sure if she left her there, a better family would have picked her. A family better than you and your selfish husband. Hmm. Really? So I am the bad one now? Because I am real? Real devil you mean? Oh, you are just like the devil. You give with the right hand and take with the left. Now I know why God did not give your own children because by now you would have auctioned them out. Yes. I can see that all of you want to gang up against me, right? But you don't know. You have no idea. You have no idea at all how much I spent on to raise that girl. How much have you spent, woman? Please, I beg you. Do the breakdown and send to me. I don't mind paying. Because the whole thing is looking like slavery to me. And we need to pay the slave owner. Don't you dare. Don't you dare insult me in any way. And you've already insulted yourself and humanity with this act of yours. So yes, I support Mazi. I knew it. I would have dealt with you the moment I stepped into this hall. And you think we'll all sit here and watch you deal with her? This one is talking jargon. My whole life is a mess, a complete lie. I don't have a family. I don't have an identity. Maya, Maya is not the end of the road. Okay, just imagine me. I lived my whole life. Calling the wrong person my father and hating my actual sister and father. I've never been this confused my entire life. They used us. We're like puppets in their hands. And now they face us with the truth and expect us to just accept it. Right? Feel your pain. I'm just as confused as you are. I don't even know where to start. Yours is even better. You have your mom and your sister. What do I have? Nothing. Absolutely nothing but an empty cartoon by the hip of a trash. It's okay. My eyes okay. <laughs> okay, may she the new target? Ah, uh, Mazi, you're here. I asked the question. 
Is she the new target? Target. Mazi, what are you talking about? Have you forgotten his history? He has two girls pregnant for him, and he's not accepting any of them yet. And you want to you want to join the queue? Mazi, why are you making a mountain out of a molehill? So that is what you call it, huh? That is what you call it. All of a sudden, you're consoling her because you feel she doesn't have anybody. Look, I am taking Maya out of this place. She has to go to the police station and withdraw her statements against Dare so that he can be released and I will get what is due to me. Maya will never do such a thing. Oh. I trust her. Really? She's a smart girl. Do you even know why Dare wants to marry your daughter? Like, do you even know his intentions towards her? It does not matter. It doesn't matter at all. Once she gets married to him, she becomes his wife and his property. Jesus he can do whatever he wants with her. Forget about being a mother. Are you even a woman? Sorry, let me ask you, woman. So, with all those years you spent with Maya, I mean, those years you said you nurtured her, you took care of her. I'm sure that at some point you fell in love with her, right? So, are you trying to tell me that that love is so weak that you want to throw it all away, all because of money? Answer her. Please do not preach to me. Do not preach to me at all. See, we are all pursuing different things in life. So please, do what you want in your space. And I will do what I want in my own space. Only I know. Only I know what I did for that girl. Only I know what she put me through while training that girl. Mazi, what is this? Hmm? I was just talking with Alex, yeah, and we shared our pain. That's so what, 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 where is all this coming from? He was never close to you. Never. I've never seen Alex close to you. And now he's consoling you. Hmm? Mas, he's consoling Mas, you. Why are you rounding like a child? What's okay, the you, 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 you are a shower okay? A shower okay, Kevo. What did you just call me? A shower. Are you stupid? Are you, are you mad? Are you mad? Stop. Are you mad? Come on, leave my clothes. You want me to take care of your life? Do you, you, you think you can buy these clothes? And now, you all do not want me to reap the fruits of my labor. But I am sorry. I am not the kind of woman you are expecting me to be. I am the kind of woman who plans her life and takes her move at the right time. Guys, uh, uh, Alex and Mazi, they're fighting outside. Please come and help me. Mazi? Mazi? Hey, Maya! Where is Maya coming here? Life. Strange, right? That is why we have to be humble at all times. Because sometimes we're not who we are told we are. What is Mazi's issue with Alex? And where has Mrs. Fred left her motherly instincts? Whichever way, we're here to proffer solutions. But each day it seems as if the problems get bigger than the solutions. This is unacceptable. Why fight over nothing? Is it? Is it nothing? So you consider this thing nothing, huh? He was trying to take advantage of Maya because he considered her vulnerable at this point. What did I do? I came in to stop him. You're very stupid, Mazi. Yes, I put it to you. You're stupid. Is it that you, you you lack sense? or you lack good judgment, but I want you to know I am not like you, and I will never be like you. That is coming from a guy who got two women pregnant. Two women? Did you get two girls pregnant? Do you have a problem with that? Should I have asked for your permission first? <laughs> Look at that goes the good mother. 
See how your son turned out. And you have the mouth to talk. See, to when you. real women are talking, just, just shut that thing you call him out. Mm -mm. Alex, no. Don't tell my mother to shut up. That's rude. I don't need your assistance. Don't try to help me. Allow him to talk. See, I am capable of dealing with talks like him. And don't you ever address my son as a thug. Say this one, okay? Let this be the last time you do that. Mom, I don't need your help. I can defend myself, okay? And for you, Mazi, yes, I have two ladies that are pregnant for me, but they are willing to be with me. You, what can you account for? Yes, at your age, all you can account for is failed relationships. I'd rather have a failed relationship than a broken marriage. Oh, is that a consolation? Yes. Okay, does it help you sleep well at night? Then when you get home, whisper them into your ears before you go to bed. And next time, if you accuse me of something you are not sure of, I'm not going to. You don't point you. your fingers at me. What if I do that? Enough of this rubbish. Enough of this rubbish. Enough of this nonsense. I think we've had enough for today. Everyone should just go home. Because of them? Yes. Pastor and Mrs. Okonkwo had to leave for an emergency. I think we all should do the same. We can continue tomorrow. Yes. Let's leave. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. It's a brand new day and I hope we all are more calm now and we can discuss like adults. Uh, Pastor and Mrs. Okonkwo are not here. I hope the emergency isn't a bad one. Hope they're okay. They're fine. They won't be joining us anymore. They started their own private therapy session. Oh. Mm. I wish them well. Mm -hmm. So I'm the only girl here. Yeah, for now. We are expecting new bees soon. So, ca can we pick up from where we left off? Because I don't have time to be here. I only came to take Maya to the police station. And I already told you at home, I would do no such thing. Oh. Is that so? Okay. Fine. Fine. Then I have a list for you. Here. Pay me that amount of money. I will get even. <laughs> Ten million naira. <laughs> ten million what? I'm supposed to pay you ten million naira for taking care of me. Yes. I need it. ten million naira. Or you get married to Dari. That's his all. And mind you, that is just my bill. Your father has not come up with his yet, though. So keep shouting, tell me you're Is that how cheap you are? I mean, is a mother's love and care so quantifiable? So you're asking for 10 million? Yes! She has two options. Either she does this or do that. Uh, uh fine. Um... I think we'll, we have to go with the list, but firstly, you have to do a breakdown so we know exactly what and what we're paying for. We? Or say we? I don't understand. What do you mean by we? Uh, see, Mazi, can we just concentrate on that list? I don't have time for your dramas. Thank you. Ten million. <laughs> You're so cheap. Is that all you want? Because in your greed, I'm sure there's so much more you would have asked as a mother. But in your greed, you did not see all the other things you would have asked for. I don't have 10 million naira to give you. But I ask that you give me two years to raise the money and pay you every penny that you have spent on me. No way! No way! You have to pay me the 10 million naira right now or get married to Tara. You cannot force her to get married to Dari. Force? Nobody's forcing anybody. She has to decide on her own. So let her be. Let her decide. This is all you want. 
Me marrying Dari, is that all that will make you happy? Bam! Yes, that is all that will make me happy. Moya. Moya, please, don't. Don't do this. Yes, uh, Maya, you don't have to do this. We'll raise the money. I said. Please, please. I'll go to the station. I'll withdraw my statement. And I'll have Dari released. Maya, you don't have to do this. She could have let me die that night. But she didn't. She could have let me stay at home uneducated. But she didn't. She would have let me go naked. But she clothed me. So, if she's asking for the life that she has given me, it's okay. She can have it. Whatever you want. Where are you going to? To the station. To do exactly what she wants. And I don't want any of you to come with me, please. <laughs> She's going to do exactly what I want. Bye, Miss Molly. <laughs> Excuse me. This is wrong. We shouldn't let her do this. I know. Let her do what she wants to do. We do what we need to do. You thinking what I'm thinking? So Alex, what have you decided about your family? Well, with all that has been happening, I, I've barely had time for myself. You know, this whole thing is confusing and brain demanding. Why won't you forgive me and come back to us? Come back home. I want my family back again. And, and you think it's that easy? That easy for everything to return to normal? Sometimes you just do things without, without checking the repercussion and how it will affect the other person. I and Alex have had a whole share of the fight, and I understand how he feels. Honestly, I... I want to be part of a larger family. But it just has to be you and my sister. The fact that Mr. Francis is trying to get married to you, I can't stand it. I know he's my father, but it's going to take me like forever to see him as one. So, what do you want to do exactly? <sighs> well, I... I have to call a meeting involving my mom, my sister, and Mr. Francis. We we'll have to sit as adults iron things out and understand the relationships we share and know how to manage it. Wow. I'm so proud of you, Alex. And I'm proud of the decision you've taken. I must say I'm impressed. Thank you. You're welcome. But hope you know that's not all. No, of course. Uh, the two girls pregnant for you. So what do you want to do about them? Yes. Well, um, 
have not figured that out yet. There is nothing to figure out. I'm here now. So tell me, do you want the baby or should I adopt it? Naya, what are you doing here? <laughs> you abandoned us. So I have no other option than to come here so they can help me ask you why you rejected us. Why? Naya, I am here for my therapy. And until I figure myself out, that's the only time we can have this conversation in private. Uncle, I am not going anywhere. I am not going anywhere. Since it's therapy, let's therapy together. Alex, is this the girl who's pregnant for you? Um, he's, he's not sure if it is. And that is why he's avoiding her staying here. Are you by any chance trying to deny your baby? A child that looks like you, so much like you. Uh, sorry, <laughs> you're still pregnant. How do you know the child looks like him? Well, I'm a mother. My instincts say so. <laughs> um, Alice, I was scam me market. Hello dear, how are you? I'm fine. I am Mrs. Bright, Alex's mother. Wow! Oh, you're actually my mother-in-law. So nice to finally meet you. Uh, well, my name is Noye. I'm your daughter-in-law. Can you just stop? What's, what's wrong with you? Noye, you're just pregnant with a child that you're claiming to be mine. So stop all this madness of daughter-in-law, mother-in-law. It can't work on me. You must marry me, whether you like it or not. Hmm? So let's finish with all this thing you're doing here and go out and fix a date for our wedding. Don't waste my time. What is it? No, you just calm down. Okay, calm down. Things are not done this way. He has his doubts and he needs time to sort himself out. Time is very expensive. I cannot afford this. I don't have time. Okay, Naya. What if I say I'm not going to marry you? What will happen? Then I will kill myself and kill this baby too. That's after writing a suicide note indicating that you forced me to it. Don't try me, oh. Don't try me. You can't bring my son down to that level. Hmm. Alex, where did you get this mad girl from? Eh? Oh my god. It is you that is mad. In fact, your generation consists of mad people. Look at this one, look. Because I called you my mother-in-law. It's not entering your head. You don't follow me speak English. I will beat you to a pulp that if, are you mad? Are you, are you, are you mad? Oh, eh? hey. No mercy, allow me! Allow me to teach this girl a lesson. How can you insult my mother? Who are you the open eye for? Who are you the open eye for? Because I didn't follow you speak English. Eh? You were here, your mother called me a mad person. I'm called a mad person. Are you? Are you want to? Are you mad? Masi, hey, you know, me. Me that I don't fear you. Wait, me. Let me. Let me kill with this girl. Alex is okay. I'm not to go touch her. We don't need to hit her because we don't know who's alive or not. Eh? We don't touch her. Hold your pause. It is you that is dead. In fact, your family is a cemetery. You refer to me as somebody that is dead. Are you mad? Look at this one. Touch me. Why they holding you? He can you cannot do anything. You are all talk and no action. You're only good in bed, so sit down. Don't waste your strength. You can't scare me. Nonsense. Miss Molly? Uh, yes, and you're. Olivia is a sex toy. Sex toy? Wow. This is really huge. Would problems ever end? Sometimes I wonder if you, yes, you, 
What is that that you're going through that you refuse to talk about? Do not keep it to yourself. Speak up. How are you, my dear? It would be better. So why did you refer to yourself as a sex toy? Because that's all I've known about myself over five years now. My dear, positivity matters at this point. You have to be positive about yourself and the life you want to live henceforth. Ooh. Which one is this one again, eh? Suddenly this one just shows up to collect all the shine. Mother, please back well, back well! My matter is serious and it deserves maximum attention. So please, Madame Sestoy, please swallow this your tears. We don't need it. Will you, will you, it. Will you shut up? Mm. Shut up! Mm. You know, you know, you know, Where did you get this parrot from? Mazi or whatever you choose to call yourself, don't spit on me again. And let me warn you. For the fact that I am pregnant does not give you the right, the audacity, the temerity to ride on me because I will not take it. So please, stay away from me. Or better put, avoid me. And don't spit on me again. You are such a naughty girl. You are like so ghastly. You are insensitive and you are arrogant. What is wrong with you? I wonder what Alex went through while he was with you. No wonder he's here for therapy. Your madness is actually infectious. Perish that talks. If you insult my mom one more time, I'll beat the head out of you. Oh, I'm, I'm so scared. I'm shivering. Everyone, please calm down. Calm down. Oliver is here with us. And she's obviously not fine. We need to attend to her first. Sure. Olivia, what's wrong? What's the problem? I... have to feel bad for anything. Okay? We are all here to help you. Why you shouldn't have allowed that woman to blackmail you into doing what you never wanted to do? I sincerely expected you to be stronger, knowing that we are we're here for you. I won't allow any harm come near you. No, I have to marry Dari. How do I survive a day with him and his friends? Um, um, Maya. Do not worry yourself about that. You are not going to marry Dari. Yes. We have a plan in motion. Everything is going to be fine. Okay? It sounds like there is a plan. All you have to know is that you won't marry that Dari of a guy. Oh. That's simple. Oh, okay, that's enough. Can we not concentrate on my matter? It's serious! Please, everybody, sit down! Sit down! Oh. Sit down! <laughs> Miss Molly. Who is she? Um, <laughs> she's uh, <laughs> Alex's baby mama. It's like you enjoy losing your memory. I am Alice's wife. Unofficial though. <laughs> Young lady, Alex, my son, would never marry you. I will never let him end up with a not kiss like you. Ah. Then get ready to lose your unborn grandchild. And my date will follow suit. <laughs> like I care. You don't? I don't care. Alex. 
Where did you bring this one from? Don't have fired out your mouth! Why are you calling this one? Hey! Shut up! Shut up! I can see you are mad. I can see you are stuck raving mad. But let me tell you something. We are your own craze, stop. Now my own day starts. So because we are here, humble, living life like normal people, you think we are normal? Eh? You don't know say we get our own for body. If you do anyhow, you see anyhow. Exactly. Look at this one, no. So you want me to watch you, Abby? You want me to watch I you? I said shut up. When I say shut up, you shut up. Alex, tell this talking cricket to shut that gutter she calls a mouth. We're dealing with real life matters here. Let her not put herself in a situation where we use her to vent. Can you imagine? Go on, will you? Don't do that next time. Don't do it! And you? I could say same to you. I said, shut up! Shut it! What is going on here? I thought we were here to seek help, not compound our problems. <laughs> Welcome to the family, girl. This is how we function here. We allow people to vent and express themselves. You know, it helps them become calm. But right now, we are here to listen to you. So, speak to us. Hmm? Yes, um, Olivia, speak to us. Yes, you're welcome. I was, I was 24 years old when I got pregnant for Jude. He promised to marry me and told me he was taking me to Uri to see his family. I was happy because I was seven months pregnant at the time. We left for Weary and arrived town. He told me he wanted to show me to his aunt before taking me to his family house. I accepted. We, we arrived in this, in a strange place with so many girls in revealing clothes. It was a brothel. I was led into the brothel. And suddenly, strange men came out and grabbed me. I tried to free myself. But I couldn't. So I begged Jude. I begged Jude to help me. But he laughed and left. I later found out that his mother owned the brothel and that I had been kidnapped. I was still trying to make sense of the whole thing. When I went into labor. My God. Things like this happen in this world. I had the baby. But never got to set eyes on her to date. I was told she survived, but was sold to a couple who needed a baby. I'm not the first girl. Jude has done this too. So, what happened? I mean, oh God, what am I even saying? 
I became a sex toy. Or should I say slave? <laughs> I was... I was locked up in the basement of the brothel. <laughs> I was made to... to service high-class men in the society who paid good money. I was flogged. Ah. They inflicted unthinkable pain on me. All in the name of sex. And they made me go without food or water whenever I rebel. <laughs> This is, this is really horrible. Why would someone do such a thing to, to a human being? Um, sorry, but what about the guy? I mean, the, the Jude guy? Is he dead? Please don't tell me he's still alive because I'll be so angry right now. Is he dead? First sensible thing you've said since you arrived here. I'm amazed. I thought I warned you to avoid me. You're seriously calling for insults and I will give you a dozen of it. Leave me alone, please. Hey, Olivia, dear, please. I don't know about others, but go on. What, what happened? Talk to me. This continued. It was my life. For six years. Oh my God. For six years. I did not see the sun. I was tied and gagged. I craved for my baby. I begged him. But nobody will tell me anything! I will find out the sex of my baby from a regular prostitute in the brothel. <clears throat> so how did you how did you get out? A raid. The brothel was raided. I think someone must have tipped up the police and they came and that was how I and some other girls in the same situation we are discovered and rescued by the police. We are freed and offer therapy. I must say that what you went through was painful and unthinkable. I could only imagine what you're going through right now and what you've been through. But all I have to tell you is that your worst is over and your life is yet to begin. You have to accept changes and embrace new friendship, new relationships and new family. Um, <clears throat> talking about family, Olivia, um, do you have any family? Do you, do you have anyone? I used to. And what happened? When I got pregnant for Jude, my parents sent me out of the house, which was why I left with him. Being away for six years with no communication, 
my mother couldn't take it. So she fell ill and died. So what about your father? I tried reaching out to him. But he says I'm dead to him. He blames me for my mother's death. He said I'm filthy and have no place in the family anymore. I understand his pain. You kids don't listen. Once you find a man, you think your parents are stupid. And maybe they don't want your progress. When in actual fact, what they have is gut feeling that you're headed for destruction. I agree with you, but parents need to learn how to beat their children with the right hand and then bring them back with the left. Look at what his insensitivity cost, even the loss of his wife. I was stubborn. I was stupid. And now I'm paying heavily for it. Hey. You see why I'm insisting that Alice must marry me? If he doesn't marry me, I'll kill myself. Oh. I'll just kill myself. Please shut up. Shut up. When matured, responsible, intelligent. intelligent adults are talking, I suggest you shut your mouth. Maya. Maya is your name, right? Maya, avoid me! And if I don't, I don't. what will you do? Hey! What will you do? Hey! I just want my life back. I want my life back and I want to start all over again. I am so worried about the little baby that didn't get to be carried by her own biological mother. About that, we'll, we'll find a way around it. I think we'll, we'll find your child. Are you sure? Can we really find my child? We'll try our best. We're going to do our best, okay? It's okay. We'll help you. The one before you, you have not found it. You want to go and find the one missing for six years now, eh? You don't have sense. You don't have sense. Hey! Oh, oh, oh. Now here you go hide. Hey! I don't finally catch you. You see him? I don't finally catch you. You think I go and love you carry my picking? Give another man. Picking where I suffer give you. Better where I suffer give you. You know fear happen. Make I tell you. Picking now my picking. You go better give me. For hand. Why? Come here. Hey, 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 hey. 